Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, this is our Odoo tutorial, uh, like Odoo uh, development tutorial series and this is the second video. In the previous video we have discussed uh, how we can install Postgres SQL in Ubuntu 18.04 and how to configure it and how to create a user for it. And in this video uh, we are planning to uh, do like uh, what is uh, in opening a new Odoo project in PyCharm and uh, uh, configuring it and running it so uh, finally running an Odoo instance so uh, we will be following the same blog that we were following in the last video and in this video they say, uh, the video say, the blog says that uh, we have to clone the JIT from uh, like uh, the Odoo JIT but uh, I have already downloaded the Odoo source code from Odoo's GitHub, or you can uh, download it from the Odoo download page also. So I just uh, downloaded Odoo 13 and extracted it and moved it to my Odoo projects folder. You can see in the Odoo project, you see Odoo latest. Okay, this is unnecessary. And in this Odoo 13 folder, we have our Odoo files here. So that's okay. Now um, we have to open this project in PyCharm. So I'm just switching to PyCharm here clicking open uh, cyprosis home slash cyprosis odoo projects and odoo 13 click ok and i have already created a, a configuration file it is opened by default here so i just give uh, admin password as admin db host as localhost and db port 5432 and db password as cool and the db user is odoo jewel db user as we have down, uh, used in our uh, last tutorial so when the XML RPC port is given is uh, 8013 just I'm just changing it to 8069 and I have given the add-ons path as uh, Odoo projects Odoo 13 add-ons and uh, Odoo projects Odoo 13 Odoo slash add-ons just clicking running in here sorry uh, I forgot to mention how to configure it so I'm just uh, going to the edit configurations or if there is no configuration existing it will show uh, add configuration we have to choose the uh, script path here I'm choosing uh, Odoo bin here and we have to pass the configuration file that is uh, dash c odoo server.conf and the python interpreter is python uh, 3.6 which is the system interpreter I have selected and I'm just clicking apply and clicking ok so the name uh, by default game is uh, Odoo bin so I'm just going to edit it and Odoo 13.0 apply it ok and run it oops just run it ok now go to your browser click new tab and go back to PyCharm and copy this copy it and back to browser paste this ok so this is what we get when we are running a new instance of Odoo like a first time instance of Odoo so uh, we have to create a new database Odoo database here so I'm just giving Odoo 13 and password as sorry uh, the email as nishadatsaibrosis.in and the password here and phone number is not necessary the language is English use US by default and for country I select India because uh, when we select uh, a country in this uh, database creation menu it will automatically load its uh, that country's localization to our Odoo and we can click demo data in order to uh, enable demo data instance just clicking create database So it is creating a new database, new database so it will take a little time. Uh, 
Okay, so here uh, our Odoo database is run up and running and we have created a new database and we can install our uh, modules according to our wish from here. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.